Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Well, in today's video, we have a remarkable related news video and it's not a software thing. It's actually a hardware update. No, not a new device, but you may want to rethink the need for your folio because they are coming up with a brand new one called the type folio. What is that? Well, let's check it out. Well, here we are, hot off the press, and Remarkable unveils Typefolio. What is it? It's a keyboard for focus typing for the Remarkable 2, right? So finally, we're making use of that mysterious port on the side that was looming at us for two and a half years. So basically, what they're doing is they're releasing a new type of cover folio, which is a keyboard as well and uh, it's meant to basically expand the functionality of the uh, Remarkable 2 and take advantage of the new features and functionalities that they've added in OS 3.0. So some of you may remember that when I was talking about the OS 3.1 that it was or, or 3.0 there was uh, one of the problems was well, like okay well you have typing but there's no Bluetooth on Remarkable 2 so you can't hook up a keyboard so wouldn't it be great if we had a keyboard to actually use that feature with well now you do <laughs> so now now you can actually get that one and Let's see first what they say about it, and then we'll check out the promo images and then see what we can deduce from it and things like that. So basically, uh, yeah, the full type folio is its name. It brings physical keyboard support to Remarkable 2 for the first time. Greatly expands, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's excellent. That you can do all that stuff and it's portable workspace that enables users to take handwritten and typed notes and stay focused for longer. I think that this is an important important uh, point and if they manage to actually make it then it will make sense if if it all works the way it's supposed to work right if it if it truly is distraction free and if it really is focused you can type across our apps all the stuff that we've talked about because they have this cross functionality for connect users only uh, or for connect, uh, users with Connect subscription only, right? That's the only thing that you have to kind of keep in mind. And the whole point is that you can start typing in the desktop app or continue typing on the, on the device and then modify it on your mobile app and things of that nature. So that is something that I'm going to be testing out and I will be receiving this one. The only problem is that uh, by the time when you actually watch this video, I will be traveling, right? Uh, or at this time, I will be traveling, but you will be watching this video. But I will have the um, type folio with me because they have uh, sent it actually. It's just that I won't be here to pick it up. You will have a detailed in-depth review and test of the type folio on my deep guide. It's it combines a premium feel and protection of a folio. So that's good. It doubles up as a folio protection. Over, although it's not a, is it a folio or is it a flip book cover? Ah, who knows? Who cares? Uh, it has a capable keyboard that disappears from the view when not needed. Well, we'll see how that works. But from the promo images, it does look like it's designed rather well. It features, now this is the stuff that I like, full size, letter keys, very, very nice. I hate mini keys. And this one actually manages to squeeze in full size keys and a 1.3 millimeter key travel, which is quite, quite nice. So that is something that's supposed to feel rather good. However, that also means that if they have full keys and just the real estate of the Remarkable 2 to work with, that they're probably gonna be rather close to each other so as something also to keep in mind. You know that I'm very much allergic to all the mumbo jumbo fluff speak and things like that. But um, despite Remarkable as a company being very prone to fluff their pieces quite a lot, this is not fully fluff and this is not just fully mimeh. This uh, There's actually some truth to it because I don't know of a platform that allows you to just write on a piece of digital paper, then continue typing and then 
pick that up on a on a computer and continue on a mobile and then continue on a device so there are elements of truth here however um, it's not entirely complete because some major things are still still uh, yeah missing such as moving and organizing the relationship between the written content and the typed content because right now it's extremely uh, rigid you can't really move it around if you start typing that's it, it, it that's that's where it stays um, but you do have the introduction of cut paste uh, copy tools in in the next update when it comes out so yeah I, I think that this has a potential and is an indication of something uh, that they are creating. However, it's not complete yet because it doesn't have all of the functionalities that one would need for the free create, as they call it, to be completely flexible and functional. So it works up to a degree, definitely, but it does still miss some of the key functionalities such as reorganizing and managing the relationship between handwritten and typed content on these mixed pages. So um, if, if they're serious to commit to this, there is a potential to actually create something that can be a biggest innovation to hit the paper tech, uh, tablet category since Remarkable 2. However, is it this right now at the moment? Mm, I would have to say no, simply because it's not complete and there's simply a couple of really big things missing at the moment. And uh, yeah, but it does have a potential to become this if they take it seriously and now the pricing and availability <laughs> ouch the type folio is available to order now on remarkable.com for 199 us dollars <laughs> well you know <laughs> if their regular folio costs 129 dollars then uh, the keyboard is going to cost definitely this much the only problem is that it, 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 it's so much, it's so expensive. So yeah, uh, but yeah, it does let you type. So, and that's the only thing that will let you type because Remarkable 2 does not have a Bluetooth. So you don't have an alternative. So if you do want to type and you don't want, do want to turn your Remarkable 2 into a digital typewriter as well, well, that's the price that you gotta pay. And customers who had had an active connection subscription on March 6th are eligible for a discount on Typefolio, and then you can redeem that offer. They don't mention what the discount might be. Other important information, Typefolio features keyboard layouts in six different languages, US English, UK English, German, Spanish, French, and Nordic languages, which include Swedish, Danish, Norwegian, and Norwegian, and Finnish, which is a really good touch um, that you have this right out of the get-go, covering uh, probably their most important or most profitable uh, market regions. And uh, that's again something that books on their tab Ultra um, just did not have right so that was one of the things that was a big big uh, no no so type folio is available in artificial leather really like that move in two finishes ink black and sepia brown well timeless and just works so no problems there note thinking i would have liked though personally i would have liked if they had the uh the canvas one as well because i just prefer the look of a canvas so that would have been nice and maybe kind of bump down the price down to 179 for the for the canvas one because then it would be like a gray canvas that i have on my remarkable two right now that would have been really pretty but that's this is what we got and no taking in the remarkable mobile desktop app requires a connect subscription blah 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 connect stuff and then yeah then you can have some more info there so okay that's the uh, basic information of what we uh, what the type folio brings let's just see how it looks like so this is what it looks like uh this is when it covers the device then you open it up like you would normal cover then you flip that underneath and then Basically, the keyboard is lying underneath the device here, which is pretty, pretty nice. So it's tucked in there, and I would assume that it uses magnets because everything else uses magnets. Now, from the side, you can see it when it flips over, 
that's basically how it works. So this is the thickness that we're talking about. So if it's 1.4 millimeter travel time, then this is going to be 1.4 or maybe 1.5 millimeter thickness over here. And then you have this uh, design of a uh, foot that basically is collapsible, mechanically collapsible and foldable so that you can have two angles and you can type and type and write. I guess this other angle is for the writing as well. Here's some more images, how it looks like from different angles. I really do like this approach. I think that this is a very smart approach. And if it's like seamless to use, and it does look like it will be because it's just gonna hinge down here. So when you pick this up, it will automatically go there. And then you should get yeah, normal kind of fit here. So the keyboard looks nice and the space between the keys is actually okay. It's a little tight, but what can you do? I mean, there's only so much room that you can work with um, and that's pretty much good. I'm not a terrible fan of a tiny backspace, but all right. And everything else is here. So you have your tab, you have your shift, you have your option, alt, everything is there. So that's pretty much nice to see. The quality looks pretty spot on and I really do like the precision here. If this is a render and it looks like it might be a render, then we'll have to see if that precision of build quality translates into reality. But knowing Remarkable 2, how it was built, then there's every, I have every confidence that, you know, the hardware design and manufacturing is going to be great on Remarkable. They are really, really good at that. It's the other stuff that that's a little bit kind of meh. So here's some more images and how it looks like. There we go. So that's the back look with the Remarkable logo. And then I guess this hinge will just kind of collapse. You can kick it here, collapse it, and then you have it in this other angle for writing and for typing and depending on where you actually are. And then this kind of cross connectivity with the desktop and everything else. And they have a couple of videos here as well. So let's check those out. So this is the first one. Let's see. exceptional production quality here and I really love the color correction and the color tone here a really 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 nice uh, production quality and obviously this is just for the remarkable platform okay so here we go we're starting to see the keyboard folio as part of this whole remarkable experience and it i have to say that it looks really good it's just designed really really well and uh, we'll see how it performs but the look of it is uh, just a very very nice balance between minimal and functional and it's just i don't know looks looks in line with how remarkable 2 looks like and you know that i'm a fan of the remarkable 2 design and i think that this this fits rather well that whole design that's actually quite nice so that looks okay the hands are cramped so there's nothing to kind of hide that so it is going to be a small space and you can see that this posture is not something that you would call ideal for typing and there's no way around it so i'm not so sure that this platform is going to be adequate or healthy for prolonged typing because these devices never are this is absolutely nothing that they can do about it because that's the space that you are allotted to work with so yeah it's just something to kind of keep in mind but yeah don't don't type like that for a prolonged period that's it's not going to be good for you this i love so this is the second angle and the second tilt of the uh, type folio and I really love how this looks like. There's just something about this whole thing that it's really nice. I'm just curious, what is she typing there? Wait, wait. <laughs> mm, historical data, this 
concussion. Is she actually typing that? Mm. No, she's hitting some numbers and we're getting this. Or am I off? No, no, these are not numbers. So historical data sub t. No, she's typing. And D, so this should be I discussion. Yeah, there's that definitely. So she's finally, that's nice. Usually people just type mock type and she's actually typing here. Uh, plus points for this video. I know it seems kind of small and trivial, but for me, this, this, this excites me. This is nice. Yes, you got somebody to actually, so type something. What? Anything? No, no, type this. And then she did, and then it looks good. Awesome stuff. Okay, so that is the first video. And then they have, so that one's for the Remarkable platform. And this one, I think, is for the uh, type folio itself. Again, proper typing. That is very, very nice. All right, so 1.4 millimeters of boinky boinky action. I gotta say that again, I love the production quality and I absolutely love this idea uh, for the being alone with your thoughts and being in your mind. But the way I see this is basically this is you working inside of your mind, which is not cluttered with any of the, you know, BS that we are always surrounded with. So I think this is a wonderful analogy for what they try to do. Now, it's a different thing whether the platform actually manages to do that. But as far as just a promo video and how it's directed and production quality and the creative vision of the video. I really, really like this. Okay, so this is how it looks like when it's folded up. It definitely adds quite a bit of thickness and I would imagine quite a bit of weight as well to the whole package, but that's unavoidable. And here we go. Now we actually see how it unfolds and how the whole action is. And it looks really good. Very nice. I like how that kick, kickstand works when you go it down. Okay, so it's definitely a magnet. So you have to unhook it with the magnet and then just hinge it down. Cool. Oh, there's... There's just something about that angle. Look, I don't know. Is it just me or is this looking really cool? I don't know. There's something about these triangles and the white and dark surfaces that I like. Uh, incidentally, I know I'm boring, but this is a better posture. But then again, you're also cutting your circulation here. So not healthy to do that either. But at least you get straight hands here. So it is possible to type that way as well. So straight wrist, wrist to your forearm in a straight line, not in a boink, you know, not in the broken line. The way you work is up to you. Yeah, there's definitely a decent travel here. You can see, yeah. And it looks very nice as a package. It's it's still modern, two and a half years in, and yeah, it's still a very modern platform. All right, cool. So this this is uh, this I think covers quite a lot of stuff and looks really good. The only thing that would I think complete both videos in my mind as far as honesty goes is that they really do need that little asterisk 
uh, in the bottom when they're talking about cross-platform compatibility. So from desktop to mobile, back to the device, because that's only supported with the Connect subscription. And for transparency's sake, it is nice. It's, uh, it would be necessary to say that here, Connect subscription required for, you know, cross-platform typing or cross-platform content sharing or whatever they want to call it. So that's something that's definitely missing from uh, this whole video. But overall, I think that uh, promo videos are great. And more importantly, I think that it shows that the type folio is actually something that I am looking forward to because I know it's just a keyboard, but I don't know, maybe it's just my impression or something, but there's, there's something about about this. Now, I've never had a problem with the hardware design and the hardware side of things for the Remarkable. On the contrary, I absolutely adore how Remarkable looks like and I do like this, how it's been engineered and what it looks like right now. It looks really good and I think that if it translates like this into reality as well, then it's going to be an exceptionally good accessory to the Remarkable platforms. That's never really a question in my mind if the hardware team is going to be and the engineering team is it going to be able to deliver that's uh, that's already proven by them and this seems to be another you know feather in their cap however the problem is the disconnect between the software level of implementation and how the software vision is realized on the remarkable and the hardware itself and uh, to me they, they still are not in sync there's just a level of refinement, level of thought, level of uh, that on, on every single level that you talk, let's say engineering and design level, hardware is like so many categories above where the software engineering and design is that there's like simply a disconnect. So hopefully that's something that maybe they will be able to actually kind of synchronize. I really do hope that they manage to do that. They have an inkling of an idea and a functionality and innovation that they're trying to do. But as I said before, it's incomplete. And to make it complete, you really need to marry these two together, the handwriting and the text. Uh, it needs to not just exist on the same page, but it needs to be accessible, flexible, and to allow, to allow you a certain level of freedom so that you can truly just stay in this platform and that it's really easy to just kind of select the text, move it down. It, it, the platform pops the text for you and makes room enough so that you don't have to think about it, so that you don't have to accommodate any of that. Then, yes, then this will be an innovation and then it will be what they're aiming for, for and then I do get it. But as it is now, I think uh, I'll, I'll have to see when I start using it. But the way, the impression that I have at least is that the whole new typing functionality makes most sense the way it's presented here, which is basically typing uh, your text and then annotating, highlighting and doing mm, handwriting uh, corrections to your typed text. So basically you type your document and then you annotate it like you would any other document on a Remarkable beforehand. The only difference being you're creating that document here. And additionally, if you're creating documents, well, you would need images as well, right? Because if you're creating a presentation or something, you do want images in here as well to to present and to format this. And then you're kind of opening up a Pandora's box here. How far do you want to go? How, how, how little do you want to include? I mean, there's definitely potential. If you have a cloud subscription, you can have a cloud drive. You can upload your images there, or you have access to Google Drive and, you know, Google uh, OneDrive and, um, and, and the Dropbox as well. So you can grab images from there and put them in there and then format. But then then you would need that smart formatting even more because if you add an image, it will need to understand, oh, move that text around. If I move that text around, my handwriting will need to go down as well. This will need to go. Those are not easy things to do. They're not impossible, but they're not easy things to do. So 
It really depends. I think that they will never go that far to allow you to have that level of flexibility of moving things around. And unfortunately, I think it's going to probably stay on this basic level. And that is okay, but it's just okay. It's not excellent. And it has a potential to be excellent, to truly be something else. But the software side of it is just like, eh, not there yet. Let's see, we'll see. Either way, I'm most definitely looking forward, very much forward to receiving this uh, Typefolio and testing it out because I think it's, was, it is the missing puzzle for the whole 3.0 uh, OS update series. And let's see if that actually delivers or not. I hope that you liked the video and that you found it informative, useful, entertaining, or anything like that. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell in the description below to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide. Also, if you do like the work that I do, please do uh, check out the mydeepguide.com slash shop where you can find the My Daily Organizer 2023 MDO, which is basically an absolutely perfect companion for the Remarkable 2 and it is a hyperlinked PDF file that satisfies all your personal or professional uh, yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily organizing or journaling needs. It's helping out thousands of people around the world and they basically say like, okay, well that completes my Remarkable experience and indeed it really is a properly good companion and it just transforms the usability of Remarkable uh, in a very, very good way to be actually become your journaling or organizer, uh, digital organizer as well. So if you're interested in something like that, not only will you support the independence of my deep guide, but you will also get an awesome product. And if you want to get more info, just check out the playlist for MDO in the description below to see uh, whether MDO is a product for you or not. What are your thoughts about the direction where Remarkable is going? What are your thoughts about the um, the keyboard itself, how it looks like so far, and what are your thoughts on the price of that keyboard as well? Because it's like 200 macaroons and uh, that's that's quite steep. Maybe, maybe some people don't think that it's high. So just let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.